Hello, I'm Alan Petravich from Longwood Gardens, and I would like to tell you about the North American Clivea Society International Show and Symposium at Longwood Gardens, which will be held March 17th through the 20th, 2011. The symposium will include speakers from around the world, including South Africa, Australia, and the United States, as well as pre-conference tours, and also a Clivea show. We would like to welcome you to exhibit your plants in the show. Don't be afraid. You have nothing to lose, and you'll probably have some fun with some fellow Clivea enthusiasts. Fortunately, today we're here with Mike Riska, who's won many awards with Clivea's, and he's going to give us some tips on how to prepare your Clivea's for the show. Thanks, Alan. I'm Michael Riska. I'm a director of the North American Clivea Society, and I'm also executive director of the Delaware Nature Society. Our headquarters, the Ashton Nature Center, is one mile from where I live in beautiful Hokesson. And the North American Clivea Society is especially excited about this conference because it'll be the biggest Clivea event uh, ever held in the United States. One of the first things I'm going to do is clean the leaves. I've got a hose here and I'm going to pick all the leaves out. And then since it's under a pine tree, there are lots of uh, pine needles in there. So what I do use is a hose blast. Now, it won't get them all out, but it'll get most of them out. And uh, it cleans up the plant pretty good. One of the most important things that I do is start pulling leaves. There are leaves here that just won't work for a show-worthy plant. I like them to go straight up. I don't like them to hang over like this. And if you take them off at this time of the year, instead of being very yellow there, these will green up by the time of the show. Before the first freeze, he moves his plants indoors. The plants are held dormant until eight weeks before showtime. Plants get no water between October 1st and January 22nd. It is critical that during this time, the plants are chilled at temperatures between 35 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of five weeks to initiate bloom. If this cold treatment is not provided, the plants may not bloom until late summer. Eight weeks before showtime, the plants are watered and the temperature is gradually raised to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Flower buds should begin to show about two weeks after the temperature is raised. I just take a soft cloth, cotton cloth, and put it in water. Um, sometimes I'll put a little dish soap in there, not much, which is antiseptic. And sometimes I'll even use milk. And you can see that over the winter and over the summer, these leaves get dusty. And you can see the difference on that leaf, I'm sure. You can just take the rag and stuff it up in there and then just bring it down further. And then the rest of that area in there needs to be cleaned with a Q-tip. This is a Japanese seasonal akebono. The leaf turned brown. So I'm going to cut this leaf to match these other leaves as far as the tip is concerned. I'm going to cut that with a pair of scissors that have been soaked in Clorox water. Then after I cut it, I'm going to wipe the edges with cotton dipped in peroxide. I think I can pop that out of there and put it in this clean pot of the same size. One of the first things you want to make sure is that it's, that it's well watered. That makes it easier to pop out. So I'm going to grab it by the base here and just very slowly lift up. I can just take that and put it in this clean pot and I've saved myself an awful lot of work. I collect boxes from various places and collect newspapers and put the pot into the cardboard box and then ju just stuff the side uh, full of newspapers. 
Well, thanks, Mike. That was a lot of great, valuable information. Now there's no excuse for you homeowners not to prepare your plants for the show, so we highly encourage you to bring plants. You've got nothing to lose. We hope to see you and your plants at the North American Clivey Society International Show and Symposium, which will be held March 17th through the 20th, 2011 at Longwood Gardens. For more information and to register, please visit the Longwood Gardens website.